Welcome to part 7 of my AEIOU and me achievement run. We have formed the Archduchy of Austria. We have the kingdom title that we need in order to unlock this achievement. Uh, we just need three more grand weddings. So hopefully what we're going to try to do is get them on our daughters and our niece here. And uh, our niece is actually not in our house. I'm not sure if it'll count a grand wedding not in your house, but I'm going to find out. Uh, and if it doesn't, then we're just gonna have to wait for this daughter to come of age. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go down this tree now. Um, there are some other nice perks here, but mostly we just wanna live. So hopefully that we can uh, finish the achievement on this character here, uh, which is actually only our third character. And the initial character that you start to play um, is pretty old at the start. So we are quite early to this achievement, I feel. 45 years. Um, it's going to be probably about 10 more before we can get this done. I'm uh, going to have to be careful not to accept any of these offers of marriage because we want to we want to do our own marriages here. Stetton. Okay, so can we just take this from you now? He's not really into this idea. You know what? Screw it. And there's that. Ah. He gave it to us. There we go. And the reason we're trying to revoke these is to just centralize our power a little bit further. Um, we can hold up to nine. We're at eight out of nine right now. And for each county that we get personally, we're going to be making a little bit more money, so just it's just better. Might go ahead and try to get one more out of you. We'll grab this one. I believe that's the capital of that duchy. Yes, it is. And our wife has got pregnant again. That's good. We still don't have a son. Uh, part of creating this kingdom title, you actually get primogeniture automatically so you know 45 years into the game not for nothing is pr pretty early to have this succession law and uh, having primogeniture basically makes succession just a joke you don't ever have to worry about it because you just inherit everything on your heir what's going on here uh, actually we, we don't want to do that at all we just want to save our gold for grand weddings so first things first what I'm going to do is, uh, not alliance power, let's go some of all skills. Look for adults who have good talents. Uh, maybe aren't that evil though. Maybe someone like this guy. Donald, he's Scottish. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then we go Grand Wedding here. <clears throat> so when she's of age, we'll host this Grand Wedding. Uh, one of the ways that we're trying to help ourselves out here is with our next dynasty legacy, we'll grab this traditional Etichonin? 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 I I'm not sure how to pronounce our dynasty name, actually. Uh, but we'll make it cheaper to unlock these grand weddings. Um, do I feel like taking stress hits? Let's just go for it. So we do end up having a, a son, so we'll name him Otto, that's fine. Our new heir. <clears throat> so the only things that can go wrong here, really, is if the offensive war that we joined earlier, my mother's war, we joined it when we were playing my father, I believe. Um, we joined an offensive war, which I believe you're allowed to do, you just can't wage an offensive war. Uh, but in the event that that does stop us from getting the achievement, then obviously we won't be able to get it. The other thing that can go wrong is um, if I host a grand wedding for her, she's not in my house. She's not in my dynasty, so I'm not sure if it'll count that. It'll just take longer uh, to get the achievement. In that case, we'll have to wait for another daughter to, to come of age. Um, so this is going to cost a little bit. We have uh, a few years to fulfill the promise, so we're just going to wait until we have this 500 gold or so. Might as well stay on collect taxes here. I was uh, spreading my, my culture. Austrian culture into Austria, but ultimately it 
it's not gonna matter. We're gonna end the game here pretty soon, hopefully. So we'll just do everything that we can to maximize our, our gold income. And hopefully stay alive too. Speaking of which, our steward has passed. Okay, there we go, we got a good count. That's fine. Oh. What is this event? Well, this is a 99%, so... She's not happy with us at all. <laughs> Murderer. Most of the difficulty of this achievement we have already accomplished. Making the kingdom title is pretty much, pretty much the bulk of it. So we're just trying really to uh, speed through this and, and get it done. Uh, I'm not going to do donate to charity because we're trying to save our gold. Um, sure, that's fine. Embrace celibacy? Yeah, we don't need any more children. Our brother-in-law and knight, yeah. Um, stress out our son to take a stress drop, sure. So we're coming up on having enough money here. Uh, we could host like a cheaper grand wedding always, but let's try to actually uh, get like an appropriate one here. So in the capital, U2. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if actually it, it counts. This will be interesting to find out. Oh, you can only promise one grand wedding at the same time, so we can't we can't do that yet. Everyone's got to travel here before the grand wedding will actually start. Just keep working on the control here. Um, you can uh, raise all of these kids, I believe. <clears throat> Patient, that's fine. So we got another grand wedding here. Not sure why we don't have a wet nurse. And there that is, so we'll just grab the traditional weddings perk, make these cheaper and easier to hold. Don't care too much about any of these options, just trying to get it done. Um, honestly, with how lucky I've gotten during this run, it feels like this is almost as fast as you can get the achievement. I mean, I'm sure there's some people who have gotten it faster, but this is definitely quite fast for me. So there we go, there's that done. We can host a grand wedding for her. Whether or not it counts or not is is a different thing. So let's just do that. And I think that we can uh, just <laughs> host it right away, can't we? Uh, it's a lot cheaper now. And then we just need our 12-year-old daughter. 
assuming this one counts, this is our fourth, and then she'll be our fifth. Uh, wet nurse, sure, why not? And she's already pregnant. A E I O U. Her Scottish husband. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, he survives that sickly. Not that he's ever going to become an adult. Hey. So we've had a granddaughter who got robust. Learning. So you can raise your daughter. There you go. Our liege has gone to war here. She is pressing the de jure claim on the Duchy of Bohemia. So Bohemia somehow got their independence. They start off as a part of the HRE. Uh, I don't think this should really affect us. Hopefully they don't siege us or anything like that. Yeah, they went up there. Um, so that is number four. And then we will just grab a little... Oh. Um. Siculo Norman, sure. Go for him. And then if that counted, then that will be the end of it. Um, once you are a powerful king in the HRE. Generally, it's pretty easy to become emperor. Um, and then after that, you can, uh, for 10,000, I believe, prestige or something like that, you can delete the princely elective and then just hold it forever in your family. And since we have primogeniture, uh, your heir will just inherit everything, always, including the Holy Roman Empire. So it's, it's pretty easy to just, like, snowball the game from... Uh, from that point. But uh, I, I don't think I'm going to continue on in this save uh, once I finish the achievement. I'm just trying to do the achievement run here as fast as possible. And I'm really, really pleased with how it's gone. Lustful, the princess of fashion. Of course, here they come to siege my land. So it looks like Bohemia's allied to Poland. And our liege is just letting this happen. We do have 4,300 troops we could run into them, but there is no point. Uh, it's kind of annoying that they're sieging us, but we'll just have to let it go. It's actually our vassal's land. <laughs> Kind of annoying. So she's had another daughter. I believe we're going to have another granddaughter here in a second because I saw our, our other, or actually not a granddaughter, our niece. Gottfried, there you go. Yeah, the luckiest part of this by far, this run, was um, our mother pressing her claim on the duchy. And if that didn't happen, then what I would have had to do is once I become duke over here, I would have to look to the family that is in charge of the other duchy and then do the same thing all over again. Find a daughter or son to uh, marry into, and then kill, kill the other uh, siblings so that the daughter or son that you're married with is uh, going to inherit everything, all the land. For themselves, and then that's how you get it without declaring war. It's just 
annoying. You could have chosen anywhere, and instead you have to... Yep, there we go. Could you at least get their capital or come fight them, please? Impatient? Honest. Let's go honest. Um, <laughs> if they start sieging my capital, that could potentially get kind of annoying. I guess we have enough money that maybe we could hire enough mercenaries to deal with this. I shouldn't really have to, though. Uh, either way, she is less than a year, about half a year away from us being able to host this. Hopefully it's our fifth grand wedding. What are you doing? This is the most annoying part of the AI in, in these wars is they will just basically trade back and forth counties and never engage each other's army and then sometimes you get these wars that are like long drawn out wars that go for years and years and years. So you're already second to inherit the HRE. Um, let's just do this right away. And then that should be that, I believe. At least they're going for the capital now. Hope you go up there and fight them after this, not just siege over here. Please. The countryside is just being ravaged and then uh, the king is sitting behind his walls hosting a wedding party for his daughter. <laughs> you guys are really annoying. I. This did not need to be happening. I guess it's kind of our liege's fault, she's the one pressing the war. Just don't siege my capital, don't... Don't spoil the wedding. Uh, so this should be done any second now, I believe. No. Thank you all for coming. So we did not get the achievement there. Let me teach you how it's done. So we're going to try one more time with our daughter, because it just might not be counting our niece. And if we don't get it after our daughter's grand wedding, I believe it's because... Is our liege actually losing this war? That's... awful. Um, if, if we don't get it after that, then it's because we joined an offensive war, and then that's gonna cause us not to get the achievement, but I, I don't believe that it should count that. <clears throat> I could be wrong, though. Um, but hosting a grand wedding outside of our house outside of our dynasty is, I believe, why it didn't count it, so hopefully that's the reason why. So she will be the next one of age. Uh, and then we'll just get her a betrothal. And then continue powering through this. Guess we can kind of build up our military here. Nothing else to do with this gold. I, I would be developing my land, but I just don't see the need. There we go. No. 
the chaste. Okay. I mean, I do have four kids. I guess it's just because I took celibacy. It's <laughs> funny. Um, the ironic thing is, if I do miss out on the achievement because I joined an offensive war, um, then it's it's gonna be all for nothing, basically, because she was gonna win and she did win basically without my help my troops didn't my troops kind of got slaughtered when I, when I ran them over there uh, and then she won a battle without them really so it, it was just like a, a really stupid mistake honestly I, I shouldn't have done that but I, I do think that we'll still get the achievement I believe that you can join an offensive war you just can't wage an offensive war I just need to host uh, five grand weddings in my dynasty I think the language is not very specific, but uh, it makes sense that it wouldn't count it if it's not in my dynasty, I think. You want... okay, whatever, my nephew, sure. <laughs> See, this war has been going on for six years now, and it's completely deadlocked right now. And now they're recapturing their capital, and it looks like they're probably going to win. Which is fine, we just want the war to be over. Valdemar. Okay. Uh, three more years. Let's get some extra learning for our bishop. Now we certainly have enough military. What's going on here? Why is it 100, 100 out of 800? That's strange. Not that it really matters. Uh, so we've gotten a boatload of prestige from <laughs> from hosting all these. Lustful, that's fine. Not really much else to do right now. When is her birthday? We're going to be celebrating it with a wedding. Fickle, content, and trusting for our son. Um, let's just go trusting. Doesn't really matter. So when was it? 20th of October. Okay. About a year and a half. We're having lots, lots and lots of Habsburgs. If we were going to be role-playing, we'd be getting Habsburgs married to Habsburgs, as they did enjoy to do. And as many Crusader Kings players enjoy to do. I lose the Trade Zealous. No, we won't do that. <laughs> I can't believe... She actually lost the war to Bohemia. It's pretty awful. Just can't even deal with all these kids. Was that your son? There you go. So she's 15 now. We need one more year and then hosting a grand wedding. Should take about another year after that, I believe. Um, I'm not gonna spend any more gold. Actually, maybe I should disband some of this military. I kind of got a little bit carried away here. It cut into our income too much. 
We actually got another Dynasty Legacy that quickly, hey? Um, nothing here really matters. I guess we'll go Marriage Acceptance. Just because that's kind of what we're doing, but we should be done anyway. Oh, so the Kaiserin finally did pass away, and her... This is a bastard founder. Her bastard son became HRE after her. Chancellor of the Holy Roman Empire. Well, why don't we um, demand our council position? Oh, I don't have a hook anymore. I thought that I had uh, guaranteed council rights. Oh, you know what it was? Is I had them when I was uh, this, but then we, we became... When we inherited the duchy, we got her council. Um, we got her... What's it called? Her contract with her liege instead of our contract. So it got replaced. That's why we lost that. Um, so I should have accepted that, but... You know, it doesn't matter too much. Arrogant, compassionate, or callous? Well, make you compassionate, I guess. So there is that. We'll host the Grand Wedding, another Grand Wedding. They're becoming quite frequent here in uh, Austria. Ten months to travel here. Adalbert. Looks like he is in Iberia right now. Tarragona, yeah, he's in Barcelona. That's why we gotta wait so long for him to travel. So what did she do? My niece, she cheated. We threw you a grand wedding and then you cheated on your spouse. How how dare you? Her lover is her spouse. What's going on there? I have rivals that I don't even know existed passing away. Oh, my best friend looks ancient. No, he's not that old, actually. There he is. He's arrived in town. These grand weddings give a, uh, a massive amount of prestige and stress drop and renown, so they're really quite powerful, actually. Uh, but they are expensive. So unless I have made a mistake, this should be it. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you all for coming. Finish Grand Wedding. Well, that's disappointing. We did not unlock the achievement. So I think what happened was joining that offensive war. It had to have been that. Um, so if, if it counted that offensive war as waging a war, then uh, the, the achievement just isn't unlockable in this game, which is unfortunate. Um, have I miscounted? No, I've hosted six now, right? I hosted one for myself, and then two, three, four, five. Am I missing one? I forgot. Uh, anyways, um, I think I'm going to call it here for this part. I, I may continue in another part and just see if hosting another Grand Wedding uh, actually solves the issue. But um, other than joining a war, an offensive war, and uh, not even participating in it, <laughs> Uh, we would have unlocked the achievement by now had we had we not joined that war. So that that was just a mistake. Uh, unfortunately, no achievement here.
but we would have had it by this point, which I think is pretty quick. I, I might try another game to do this at uh, some point in the future, unfortunately. I mean, I do already have the achievement unlocked. I was just trying to do a run for my for my YouTube channel. But thank you for watching this part. Uh, I, may, I may make another part um, continuing on this game, or I may just call it there. Um, but uh, thanks for watching this. Um, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.